pretty much just the torch and the legacy. <laughs> the flag and the legacy. All right, yeah, we'll be back again, back again. And today we're getting into Speaker Knockers, the GOAT. It's your boy Ty. LD. It's your boy, Mr. Take Your Time. <laughs> We back again, we back again. Um, usually we start out with like a, a, a dumbass line or some shit for the project, but come to find out it was no fucking lyrics at all, just fucking beats. I thought it was a whole Yeah, I thought it was gonna at least be like some some some, some old rap, some verses or some shit and like but like no. songs. Yeah, but yeah. uh Yeah, make sure uh y'all like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um shit, we're gonna get into it. We'll talk about speaker knockers. Uh I'll let you start it off. When did you first uh, first listen to Speaker Knockers, and uh, what do you think is his impact and legacy like left and his mark? So overall, and funny thing is, we just did the Meek Mill review, but first time I ever heard Speaker Knockers was the Dream Chasers one, Sonny Montana freestyle. I know it wasn't necessarily his song, but I heard the tag, and I was just like, who was Speaker Knockers? Yeah. And then fast forward to probably 2014, 2015, my cousin from Atlanta came up. And I forgot what the song title was, but it was like, By My Lonely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But he started playing that, and he was playing that, Rico, not, was it Rico? Yeah, uh-huh. He was playing all those, like, all summer. And that was pretty much my introduction to Speaker Knockers. Overall, I do think that this instrumental tape is very cool to hear, just what he left behind before his passing, his untimely passing. I can't remember if yeah. it was like 2015, 2016 when he passed. I'm trying to think when that nigga died. He was only 19. I think it was 2014 or some shit. Oh, wow. Or something. Or that's maybe. Yeah, that's very soon. Yeah. 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 yeah, when did you... Uh, 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 I think high school... Uh, I was just playing like Xbox. He another one I remember I was where I was at, I was playing Xbox, and uh, yeah, I was just on uh, Apple View, well, was it iTunes back then? Oh, man. But uh, it was the, I just seen his tape, and it was the one where he was like, Scarface, oh yeah, Finesse Father. So I clicked on it randomly, and uh, I just started listening randomly, and that joint was going crazy. I was like, golly. I remember telling people on the mic, blasting on the mic, <laughs> the thing was all hyped. I was like, yeah, it's the one. And yeah, speaker knockers, he was, his wave was very short, but he was, very influential. he was coming up fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah fast. So. Blueprint for a lot of the singing, songy rappers now. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. R R R R even RP, PNB Rock. I hear a lot of speaker knockers in PNB yeah, Rock. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Um, I had heard of Speaker Knockers. Uh, my cousin, he had just hit, he had graduated uh, high school, and uh, I took him down to Beach Week. And I remember we was like down there, like in Myrtle Beach on the strip. And he was like, "Oh yeah, like let me play some shit." And he he was playing Speaker Knockers. And I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" And that shit went. I was like, "Yeah, this shit go crazy." So yeah, he played. Uh, yeah, the, the by my lone was it the, the lonely joint, whatever it was that, and then the Rico joint. The Rico joint reminded me of like some damn uh, Grand Theft Auto shit. Yeah, or something yeah, like that. For that real. shit, yeah, yeah. That shit reminded me of just like yeah, some, some Grand Theft Auto story or some crazy shit. And I was like, yeah, this is very different. And the beats were like, it was like a, it was like a newer age, like Soldier Boy almost yeah, in a sense. Like the beats yeah. just had like in that, and just he had that auto tune, that that whole different shit. So I was like, yeah, this is uh, this is very very different. Um, but I would say he wasn't somebody that like I continued to like listen to though um, at that time though. But like if I go to parties, go around people, whatever, like speaker knockers would play though. I think um, he said that was, that was his biggest influence was Soldier Boy because yeah, he was making remember. beats first. Yeah, and yeah. he was making beats for like bigger artists, and then I think he just tried to jump in the rap game a little bit and he took off with it. So yeah, he uh. It's sad, man. He he could really be like a mm -hmm. yeah goat right now. So hey, did he did he overdose off off of lean? Was it lean or some shit or like was it pills? Or did he get killed? I'm trying to remember. I didn't say it was a medical issue. It was a medical issue. I don't know why I was talking about like like uh lean or like a garage. He might have overdosed. Yeah, some shit like that. Um. So we gonna get to the background of the album. Um, this was another one 
like I couldn't find much information of like kind of why they waited. So 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 this was ten years actually after he died. So then yeah, so he passed away in twenty fourteen. And yeah, so I remember I remember seeing that. So yeah, it's been ten years. So why wait ten years? I mean, was it just like oh yeah, this is the ten year anniversary of his death? So boom boom, we are gonna drop? Because I mean, have they dropped? Has his team dropped anything else? I don't. No. I don't really think any. No. Yeah. I wouldn't say any. I see this light delayed, Brandon. I ain't heard of this, but this was 2016. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if it was a money grab or what. Yeah. For real. Yeah. It's like RP, RP to do. Um, but yeah, I just don't. Um, I don't know why they dropped it. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. You know what I'm saying for the fans, so they were able to have yeah. it. But I just still, I still felt like. There should have been some actual songs though, or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like niggas come with some beats, bro. Nobody's trying to hit no fucking beats. A nigga like this ain't no fucking like fucking just Timbaland instrumental album or some shit. <laughs> no, nah, like like a nigga nigga trying to hear like something, some songs or something. I'm like, bro, probably out of all the music this dude recorded, y'all don't have something. Yeah. I'm surprised. You know what I'm saying? I am kind of surprised that it was a strictly instrumental album. Yeah. yeah. Or, or at least I like, you know how he's like double and like. Like the songs and then have the instrumentals, cool. Yeah. Do that or something like that. But um, or like they could have got. Um, I thought they was gonna use AI on this joint. For real. They might have to use AI saw it on yeah. like Twitter. I was like, speaking of not gonna be like the perfect artist to use like AI with, because that would be okay. You right. he won't say really nothing, but he you could kind of spin it with AI. Him just saying basic stuff. That's fine with the songs. I was like. He'd be a perfect candidate to be like the first like AI artist for them to keep dropping. So that's what I thought it was gonna be, but yeah. Nah. Um Yeah, you know, I kinda felt like whoever put this together, his team, they kinda like might have rushed this and probably didn't think it all the way out. At least like try to find some shit with him or like some verses. And I'm sure there are some artists, some bigger artists who you know, fuck with speaking opera, then at least try to, you know what I'm saying, like, get the nigga to put a verse or some shit, somebody, you know what I'm saying, put a little verse, you know what I'm saying, put a little verse on there, boom, boom, you're good, like, might have a speaking opera's chorus in one little verse, get, I don't know, let's say, if Soldier Boy fuck with speaking opera, you know what I'm saying, get a, you know what I'm saying, get a big Draco verse, yeah, yeah. real quick, boom, boom, easy, but, so, that's I, yeah. I will say one thing, he did, these are speaker knockers name songs, really? I was crying, it's Camaro rolling, <laughs> the whole band and racks. I was like, oh yeah, these band are, and racks. Yeah, okay. yeah, he definitely named these back in 2014 or whatever. So, yeah, play that band and band and racks. The see what that sound. Can it play? Uh, so in in these beats, in these beats, like you know, no disrespect, they sound like they from like twenty fourteen. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. sound like they from like twenty thirteen. Yeah. Like it's that yeah. whole twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen swag. So at Very least, <laughs> yeah, or at least like you know, somebody could have went behind some of these beats and just added some more, did something to it. I don't, I don't know, bro. They need a fucking uh vlog or documentary of this process because niggas yeah. need to know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. I better explanation. Somebody need some money real quick. But. <laughs> shit, if they need money, do the AI thing. You do the whole AI yeah. shit and just boom, boom. Like, if his mom or whoever just co sign, do it. Boom, boom. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, you know, I don't even think, you know, it's something I would go back and re listen to. No. Yeah. Uh, rest in peace, Speaker Knocker, still. But, yeah. yeah. I guess what would y'all rate this joint? <laughs> I, I really don't give it a rating. All right, it was an instrumental. Yeah, 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 facts. Yeah. I mean, nah. Nah, it's Lou Rose. I mean, he has <laughs> I mean, he can't even defend himself. Until he's <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Yeah, you know, like, you know, the stars <laughs> on the first song, this joint trash. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like, bro, because if people were listening, it'd be stars all over yeah, the bitch, yeah. nigga. It's just one star in the first one. Nigga, a nigga played the first one and said, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's joint trash. A nigga played the first song and said, nah, I'm good. Well, sheesh. But yeah, uh, same, 
Same for me. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying, to uh, the speaker knockers. But yeah, I don't know. His management. I might got to tweet, tweet at his his Twitter or something. Find somebody in that joint, bro. And like, what's, what's going on here, man? What's Taliban's entertainment? Yeah. They under all his uh, music, so whoever they are. Yeah, Taliban, they get y'all shit together, man. Taliban. And I really do hope we at least get to hear like an unfinished Speaker Knocker song where he's singing and rapping though. Yeah. Just something along those lines. Something, something, something from the nigga. We ain't trying to listen to no damn beats. Because, I mean, I feel like, yeah, like he was known, you know what I'm saying? He was known for like, for the mixture of like his beats and him too. It wasn't yeah. just all beats, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, so, but. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, man, um, RIP Speaker Knockers, GOAT. Man, uh, yeah, yeah. Overall, yeah, the overall feelings of it. Uh, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We out. We out.